shot me. Bless my cheek. Your gameplay. in the schedule. Say a nine-man free-for-all. Nine against one, I'd say those are fair odds. Koso. You seem to have gotten lost, Yujiro. Perhaps one of us can find your seat. You wanted a free-for-all. But why should the finalists have all the fun? You won't mind if we join in, will you, mighty king? Before this ends, you will all be dead. against the heavyweight champ. Time for pain. <laughs> McGregor. Jeez, he's out cold. You yeah. losers need a lesson in real fighting. Let me teach you. <laughs> as the king continues to weed through his challengers. You're the best judo can offer. Dead in his tracks. <laughs> Ken Ryuzan finds his back against the wall, both literally and figuratively, as the king sets him up to be his next victim. again anytime soon. The king is on a rampage. Roland Gustav is caught in a headlock. The European wrestler is attempting to tap out, but Yujiro is ignoring his signal. 
Alone at last, Doctor. I made you a promise before. It's one I intend to keep. You've undoubtedly performed many operations, Doc. But me, this is my first. I hope you'll forgive any unfortunate mishaps. <laughs> Death is an acquired taste. Huh? They're there now. Don't fear the inevitable, Doctor. Huh? Oh, Yujiro! Foolish! What's the matter? This is what you wanted. Stand up, you! Shinogi, good, I can cut down the whole tree. Shinogi? Don't worry, brother. I know what I'm doing. Mr. Hanma, I believe your express wish was to fight the finalists. I'm ready when you are. I see. Korea, your little brother just saved your pathetic life. Do you expect anyone to take you seriously? You didn't win that match that got you into the finals. You survived it. There is a big difference. That you're allowed to step foot in this ring after that weep fest is inexcusable. Well, you're one to talk. Tell me where you get off stopping a sanctioned fight so you can have a personal war. No. Allow me to show you. This will end now. You are in no position to handle him, injured comrade. Andrianov Zagon will stop nonsense. Leave ring now or I break you! You weren't planning on starting this party without the guests. Hanma insists on a free-for-all. He can't merely watch the fight with the crowd. The king must have his bloated ego satiated. We're here, Andrianov. And each of us has a score to settle with this egomaniac. So let's not waste any more time and get this over with. Inferior scum! Don't talk about me as if I weren't right here. You think you can take me? I'll kill every last one of you! Rifles in here? Tokugawa, I should have known. Bucky, did you? There was no choice. It was either set Yujiro up or watch my friends die. I had to. Luckily, Bucky warned me. This was the only way we could stop him. I once used a similar strategy while hunting lions in South Africa. The net hinders movement and provides some useful disorientation while the shooters pump the beast full of tranquilizer darts. Incidentally, the amount of serum coursing through Yujiro's veins right now is enough to take out a blue whale. All things considered, we took him down quickly. But not quite soon enough. The king certainly managed to get his pound of flesh.
<laughs> Never a dull moment. Oh, well, I still have a pulse, so I guess I'm up next. Toodles! <laughs> He's so weird. Shibakawa, the Viper. During his last battle, I referred to Oki Shibukawa by his birth name, Goki. While I meant no disrespect, I have since been informed that Mr. Shibukawa chose the stage name Oki so as not to be confused with the infamous contract killer Goki Shibukawa. His opponent could hardly be the victim of mistaken identity. With his signature nerve-cutting technique, it's Shinogi Kosho! Stay glued to your seats, ladies and gentlemen, as we usher in another breathtaking showdown and the last bout in round two. And now, a word from the ref. No holds barred, except all weapons. No weapons! You can do anything you want, except use weapons. Oh, yes, I understand. Try using cold cream for that, it works. But you may want to keep that information to yourself. Not everyone's as understanding as I. Mr. Shibukawa, are you all right? Of course I'm here to fight. The parts might be faulty, my good man, but they're still under warranty. I don't care what he calls himself. I see right through his bumbling senile charade. Shibukawa is a deadly trained jiu-jitsu warrior. His movements are too precise. The techniques he uses are those of a martial master, schooled in the arts of ancient warfare and misdirection. Those who underestimate him pay the price. Forgive an old fool. I am honored, Master Kosho. Honor is mine. Do you really think the old guy stands a chance? Laying out a beef head like Harlan is one thing, but Shinogi plays on a whole other level. I mean, I could be wrong, but what do you think, Baki? Big trouble. Kosho's hands are full. Too full. Truer words, young Hanma. Ogi Shibakawa is not a man to be taken lightly. Mark me, he's death in disguise. Oh man, you're creeping me out. Begin! Huh? He's waiting for me. Like he knows exactly what I'm going to do. Those eyes. It's like he's reading my mind. Shinogi tries some fancy footwork in an attempt to disorient his opponent, who seems unusually relaxed. Shibukawa is unwilling to take the bait. Interesting. The game of cat and mouse continues, and I for one am shocked by Kosho's speed. How is the old loon maintaining his focus? Front or back, I can't find a vulnerable spot to attack. No matter what angle I come at him from, he can land the first strike. There has to be something I've overlooked. He may be a master, but he can be defeated. No, not yet. He's up! Caught you by surprise. He's down. By the way, I dig your suit. He's toying with me. He doesn't view me as a real threat. Everyone has a weakness. How do I crack through this foolish man's armor? Shinogi 
lands up flat on his back, and it looks like Shibukawa is beginning to wear the spry grappler down. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Easy does it. You must be dizzy. <laughs> Feeling lightheaded? Maybe you should rethink your strategy. One wrong move and he'll break my leg! Shibukawa lured him right into that kick. Man, he broke the leg with one chop. That Shibukawa is a master of human anatomy. He knows precisely where to strike. <laughs> this will hurt as long as you allow it. Wise up, son. You have one good leg. Quit while you can still walk away. <laughs> Well, you haven't lost everything. You still have your pride, son. <sighs> you are crafty. I guess I underestimated your power. <laughs> As for my pride, I'll throw it away. If that's what it's going to take to defeat you. Oh, fine. If that's the way you wish to play this, I do admire your tenacity, if not your misguided attempt to redeem yourself. Of course, this decision puts us at odds. Enemies, to be precise. I can live with that. We've been wondering when it would show up, and here it is! Shinogi's nerve-cutting stance! <laughs> oh! Uh. <laughs> Astonishing! Impossible though it may seem, Ogi Shibakawa has single-handedly thwarted, no denied Kosho his signature move! Count to five and it will all be over. One, two, three, four, five. So long! <laughs> This is going to sting a little. He just crossed his own head! Ouch. Shinogi sacrifices his hand to deal a crippling blow to his opponent. Now that's what I call dedication. They call it Gante Kudakai. Gante what? Gante. The eyeball's more resilient than many think. By striking it with enough force, it can actually be dislodged and used like a cannon to shatter the surrounding membranes and bone. Tiny splinters slice into the brain. This, as you can imagine, is quite painful and damaging. Amazing, but I think if I were going to try to attempt a wild move like that one, I would at least avoid crushing my own hand. Guys, he's not hurt. What the? <gasps> Forgive me, Master Shibikawa, but you left me no choice. <laughs> What's so funny? Shinogi! I have a glass eye. Such injuries are a professional hazard. Some hits go off without a hitch, some don't. Ah, misdirection. Honestly, it is truly a great weapon. This match is over! Ogi Shimokawa has defeated Shinogi Kosho in a stunning upset and will now advance to round three. Flawless victory. Congratulations. <laughs> Flawless, Master Matobe? Perhaps it's you who needs the glasses. These custom eyeballs are very expensive. Huh? So, I see you decided to stay the course, Mr. Hanma. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, wonderful. And now it's on to round three. Perhaps we'll end up facing one another. Ah, what an honor that would be. What an honor. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Ogi Shibukawa. I don't know how well I trust him, but he's an original. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading for the main course. Please welcome the finalists in the third round of this most prestigious tournament. These warriors represent the best the world has to offer. Only the strongest, most capable fighters have what it takes to compete for the SFC title. Next, we have an important announcement. Chiharu Shiba, winner of the fifth match in round two, has suffered severe injuries, which preclude him from further participation. In Shiba's place will be a substitute fighter, though to label this man with such a generic title is completely misleading. He is an Olympian gold medalist wrestler who boasts a perfect fighting record at 6,000 wins, zero losses. The one and only Andriana Zargon. This just in, although the seventh match of round two in which Dopo Orochi battled Yu Amanai was interrupted, an official ruling has at last been made. Our judges state that the last attack, a Mitsuki eye gouge initiated by Orochi, would have been ruled legal had the ring not been commandeered by Yujiro Hanma. Therefore, Dopo Orochi is the victor and will proceed to round three. I am grateful. One of these men is destined to become your next champion grappler. Who will it be? Baki, I need to ask a favor. Will you let me win our match? I need you to lose. I prayed it wouldn't come to this, but you're my only hope. his friendship with Baki to the test when he asks the champion to sacrifice their match so that he can win the title. When Hanma refuses Kanjo's plea, things turn ugly, and desperation leads the seasoned grappler to hatch a chilling scheme that forces Baki to confront a ghost from his past. Don't miss the next stunning chapter in the life of Baki the Grappler.